dog meat. We don't have any money. And what are we going to do for lunch? Talk. I'm looking for the headmaster's office. Um, yeah, the headmaster's office <coughs> is. <coughs> it's just up on the first floor to the left. Thanks. Greenberg, what was that? Reverend, that was a girl at Horace Hyde. I can tell that was a girl and that you were a total dark. <laughs> hey, watch it! You got a problem, Greenberg? Uh, many, but none with you, sir. Who's the girl? No clue. I have an idea. Here we go again. We have a new headmaster. Has anyone seen him? Not yet. I'm thinking maybe he's finally taking the school co-ed. Camp, this is our school. We can't be ourselves if girls go here. It will destroy our football team. We don't have a football team. Yeah, and we never will if girl girls come in. Spence, I think young Zach here is entering those awkward wonder years. Guys, do not worry, young Zach. We are kind. We shall not torment you much. It's Horace Hyde White School for boys. If they let girls in, what's next? Mind control? Well, that's what school's all about. Dad, I don't even know how to talk to a girl. Who does? OK, listening seems to help, and nodding and agreeing. And nodding some more. Nodding is real good. Sometimes my dad just does not get it. My voice is changing, my world is rocking, and there's not a thing he can do to stop it. But at least he tries. When talking to a woman, the important thing to remember is, well, not to talk. Any more advice, Dad? Well, Zach, sometimes boys your age go through some changes. Dad, Dad, please stop. Well, if you're embarrassed to talk about this, your mom did buy a book. Please, not the book. Polly and Puberty is a classic. Puberty is a natural part of life. Dad, we're on the street here. In punk. <laughs> in punk. Why can't I just go hide in Paraguay until this whole voice thing stops? Hey, look where we are. Come on, this always cheers you up. When I was nine. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this stuff gets better and better. Whoa, hey, fuzzy dice. Next time, young man, you wash behind your ears. Cool. Anything in particular you want? Yeah. Something to control my voice. You know, I think I might have just what you want.
boys. Learn how to throw your voice and amaze your friends. All the lost secrets of the vaudeville ventriloquists. Everything from breath control to dealing with theatrical agents. You really think this will work? The title has three exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Zach. Hey, Dad, wait! How do you tell when a politician is lying? His lips are moving. It's not bad. Good night, Zach. Good night, Dad. Are you guys okay? Yeah, fine. See you in science class. Guys, what's going on? The girl was sighted again. Everyone's on their best behavior. Zephyr, 3645 Alpha Prime. The female presence here still remains unexplained. More study is required. And why is this a Zach file? As keeper of the Zach files, that's my call. And Zach, you are still the only one who has sustained contact with that girl. What is that? What's what? Is that... Old Spice? Just dab on my pulse points. You see? It started. She's already changing us. <clears throat> I will control my voice. <clears throat> I learned this from an amazing pamphlet I bought. Watch. Air me out. Oh man, you sweat. How'd you do that? I'm throwing my voice. So yeah. For my report today, I need your undivided attention. Zach, do it. If you have a question, then print it in legible block letters on this paper and pass it forward. Throw your voice. And I promise to speak slowly so everyone can follow. Even you, Greenberg. <laughs> My report is penicillin and why mold is our friend. Class, we don't laugh at people who are different, not even the flatulent. Okay, he suffered enough. Yeah, I agree. Camp, Spes, did you guys see that? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Now lay off. No, 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 I mean that. Zach. Vernon, please continue. Like many great things, penicillin started with mold. In this agar dish, I grew a bacteria culture. From my underarm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's very tasty. Okay, okay, we've all had our fun. Zach, cool it. It's not me. I've lost my voice. Class, this is unfair to Vernon. He's just... A love machine. <laughs> Three hours of detention? What were you thinking? Like I told you, I didn't do it. It was my voice. It's escaped. You've lost your voice? You gotta help me. Later. later. You see, girls at Horace Hyde will destroy our male camaraderie. Zach, we'll still have plenty of quality time together. In detention. Hi. 
I'm Cam. Hi, Cam. I'm Gwen. So, Gwen, I... I mean, we go here. That's Spence, and that's Zach. Wave goodbye, guys. So, will you be going to Horrorside White, Gwen? I'm supposed to start at Ms. Edgar's and Ms. Cram School for Girls next week. I hear they have an excellent science program. We were hoping that you'd be the first woman in Horace Hyde. You know, blaze new paths. When we moved here, my dad suggested that, but I think it'd be too much responsibility for me. <laughs> what do you mean? Clarinchitis. Well, men require a lot of training. For example, some of your friends are trying so hard to impress me, they're even wearing aftershave. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I could go to a school where everybody treats me like I'm Britney Spears. Yeah, right. You sound terrible. Why don't I get you some lemonade or something? What's next, a tea party? I'm glad you're not coming here. What's the matter? You can't say those things to my face? Zach, apologize. I didn't say anything. Right. <sighs> this is out of control. No kidding. Boys, get back in here. What's the matter, Wimp? Afraid to say what you really feel? I'm hey, not. Get my voice. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs>
Okay, where did this all start? Uh, you uh, want these old pamphlets? Enjoy. Thanks, you big hairy geek. Hey, not bad. Didn't even see your lips move. These are all from the 1920s. Boys, sell seeds for fun and profit. Boys, grow giant mushrooms in your cellar. Why don't they have girls explore an Egyptian tomb? You like archaeology? My mom takes me antiques all the time. Don't they have anything for girls? <laughs> Why bother? Girls are useless. My you really believe that, Zach? No, I, I don't think so. No, no, I don't. I don't. Good. You're making progress. Boys, learn how to psychoanalyze your friends and influence people by Dr. Sigmund Friendly. Four exclamation points. Hey, hey, don't read that. It's trash. Now who's feeling threatened? To overcome your psychological problem, you must confront your inner demon. With what? Wooden stakes? Garlic? The truth. Confront yourself. Tell your inner Mel what you really feel. Will that really work? You want to keep talking to boxes? Go for it, Zach. You can't catch me! Nobody can! can. He's can. gone! But where? Where you feel the least secure. This way! You can't come in here. Why not? Because it's the boys' room. Zach, you're gonna have to overcome these arbitrary boy-girl divisions if you're ever gonna grow as a human being. There really is very little difference between men and women. And, and, and. What are those things? These are, are planters. Planters? Yeah, planters. You know, for vegetables and flowers. We grow them here in the winter time, and then in the spring, we men replant them in the fields because we are men and we like to do men things. Zach, your voice is coming back. It is. You must be getting close. Or you're getting a cold. Wrong again. Girls are always wrong. Ease up on her mail. Why? Because that's not what I think. I think she's okay because she's smart. And funny. She's really, really okay. And you, Mel? You're just afraid. I'm not the one who's afraid. Yes. Yes, you are. And you want to know something? There are some changes that you just can't stop. Like if this school goes co-ed, then it goes co-ed. There are some changes I can live with. Zach! You can't hide Mel. It's over. No. No, Zach, please. I don't want to go back. No. No! Are you okay? Yeah. My throat's a little sore and dry. Hey, you want to get a lemonade? On me. What about your friends? Oh, I'll be okay. Hi, guys. Remember Gwen? Gwen, remember my best friends, Cam and Spence? The two greatest guys that I would never intentionally try and offend. Um, so, how was detention? So, you buy this paranormal stuff, and you and Spence investigate these things. No, we just try and figure stuff out that we don't understand. Like, why you're hanging around Horace Hyde White. I've decided to go there. And it's an excellent academic program, and it could be fun. That's great. How'd you swing that? My dad got special permission because he works there. Sweetheart. Hey, there he is. Dad! Daddy, this is Zach. Good afternoon, Mr. Greenberg. Sir, how did you know my name? Dad is your new headmaster. I've heard a lot of interesting things about you, Mr. Greenberg. We should talk. You have a very nice daughter, sir. Thank you. Um, listen. Just remember, if you get into trouble, nod and agree. Agree and nod. Got it? Testing. Testing. Okay. Zach File. 3645 Alpha Prime. 
Investigator Spencer Sharp recording. Since all evidence of psychic projection has vanished, we will have to rely on witness reports. How was that? Fine, keep going. Right, my testimony. Um, well, my throat is still a little dry. And I just don't think that ventriloquism is a good career for me. Maybe for some other kids, but, you know. No, I do not see any white light, or streams of light, or Tinkerbell. No, sorry. I really think, Investigator Sharp, that with the proper help and support, I can overcome his problems. It must be tough coming from a broken home. Zach experienced psychic projection? I, I know he's going through some changes, but this was some week. I mean, first he gets the class detention, and then he skips detention. So I get a call from the headmaster saying they want to see me. Now, I don't want to see the headmaster. They make you sit in the hall outside the door where everyone can see you. you know, they do that on purpose. I, I just don't get it. I mean, Zach doesn't get detention. Maybe he fell in with a bad crowd. I mean, Spence, hey, you're his friend. You can tell me. Who's Mel?